breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. In fact, legal practitioners are already reacting and advising Governor Gordon Obaseki, Asoigo Dalo, and the People Democratic Party as a result of Tinubu's response. The election that was done on the 21st of September that was neatly contested and saw um, Senator Monde declared as the governor-elect has caused a lot of, um, you know, a different reaction all across the country. Um, Tinubu has been told that the People Democratic Party says they have evidences to back the fact that they won the election. Tinubu said they should go to court. If they feel they really have those evidences, they should go to court. Those very words of the president, the reply, has caused more harm than good. Because even legal practitioner says, wow, is that what you think? I mean, if the president, if President Tinubu advises PDP, you know, and uh, Obaseki and the rest, okay, Labour Party to seek judicial, uh, you know, re resolution to their issues, he said then, he will advise them to run, not to waste any further money and to make sure that they, you know, they begin to put themselves together and prepare for next election. So that's what he will just advise. That's all he will advise. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Over Edo's election, a legal practitioner has advised PDP, Labour Party, Obaseki, Igodalo, others to save their money, not to bother getting a lawyer or going to court. After Tinubu advised PDP, Labour Party to seek, you know, to seek, uh, you know, judicial resolution if they have any. Amobi Cloka, a permanent legal practitioner and former spokesperson for the movement of the savior of Ijo ethnic nationality of the Niger Delta, had voiced his deep disappointment with the recent Edo's governorship election. In a statement reported by Vanguard, Cloka criticized the electoral process, which he claimed was made by my practices, despite the implementation of, electric, of electronic voting system. He said even the electronic voting system has been compromised. Cloxin emphasized that that merely replying on tech, relying on technology will not solve the issue at hand. Nigerians need to begin to rise up to the occasion. The president himself has advised Nigerians to go ahead and seek legal advice. This is on becoming, and I will advise those he has already spoken to, to pay heed. Going to the court system, I can assure you, will not see any much result different from what it is already. So if I were in your shoes, I would take heed to the advice. The judiciary system in our country has seriously been compromised. And whether you believe it or not, they will not answer even if you have a turn of evidence. It shows that there are different personnel who are responsible and actors playing in the whole framework of our legal system. If Nigerians wants to really see a difference, they need to monitor the electoral process themselves. Banking or depending on voting system or the electronic system that has been put in place will not see any form of improvement. If those who are responsible for the monitoring of this system are not honest, Nigerians are in a serious position right now unless they begin to tell themselves the truth much will not come out of it so this is exactly what is happening now everyone needs to take heed to the advice like they will say a word is enough for the wise imagine the president of a country saying eh? the president of a country is saying if you don't want you know if you if you want uh, this matter to be resolved or you feel that you have been cheated or anything like that he said it's fine go to court how can the president be asking you to go to court because they know what happens in the court how many how many you know how many cases have really been resolved in our judiciary system as of today uh, that should that should speak volume and that should tell you you know how things currently are 
how many people can really tell you of a truth that this is the truth and you can stand by it without you know without missing words if there is any time we need to really honestly sincerely rise up to the occasion and do not allow manipulators to be the the the, the essence of our framework that determine what happens to us then you will understand where we are coming from that there are people who i mean actors in all of this who do not want this country to see the light of day it is sad it's just so so sad that they continue to do what they do it is sad honestly sincerely truly speaking they continue to do what they do and they expect that everybody should just line up you know nobody should speak everyone should you know just go ahead pretend like nothing is happening yeah okay just because if you if you if you include and you you want to protest you will see you you will not get can you imagine you will not get anything coming out from all of this so these are very very sincere uh, you know moments that we all need to take advantage of the days upon us are becoming very 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 interesting okay that our our legal system can no longer really sincerely give us the adequate truth that we need so people are very very skeptical worried about the outcome of things and do you blame them i beg to the, i beg to tell you that the, the the answer is no because when you see all that is happening you can you can you can understand their pain you will know where they are coming from and you will see that you know unless every one of us okay stand together to withstand this great oppression instigating at us we don't know how we're going to quickly come out of all of this so it is a very very serious concern that these things are happening well nigerians how do you see it imagine a a, a, a lawyer promising telling the people please eh, don't deceive yourself okay please don't deceive yourself i can assure you for free that there is you know the people you are following at this point in time they don't have anything good for you can you imagine you know he's telling you that if the president to the president is already saying uh, uh you go to court <laughs> what does that tell you he's not ready to he's not even ready to to ensure that you get the truth because our judiciary system has greatly been compromised leave us a comment don't forget to like us share subscribe click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news god bless have a fantastic and a lovely day from us is bye for now remember you have a voice and every one of us must continue to speak the truth in order to move forward as a nation and as a people bye bye